Have you ever stayed up way too late playing Call of Duty? The massively popular video game franchise has been a guilty pleasure for millions of people since it first came out in 2003. But what if I told you there was a sport that could transport you right into the game without risking your life? If that clip really got your pulse racing, then you'll want to stick around, because there's plenty more where that came from. And that's not all. I've got bucket loads of weird, wonderful, and downright amazing things coming right up in this episode of Things You Will See for the First Time in Your Life. Watching cars do donuts and wheel spins in abandoned parking lots is hardly impressive nowadays, especially when there are people out there capable of driving a 40-ton dump truck like it's the easiest thing in the world. This jaw-dropping display of skill was filmed in Chesterfield, UK back in March 2019. As you can see, the big yellow dirt transporter slides in down a wet clay ramp and immediately goes into a righteous six-wheel drift before seamlessly backing into position to receive its payload from an excavator. There's no doubt that this is one memorable party trick, but I have a feeling that this worksite's local occupational health and safety agency wouldn't be nearly as impressed as we are. Then again, there's an argument to be made for efficiency here. After all, making a U-turn and slowly backing the dump truck in would have been a lot less video worthy, but would have also taken much more time. Speaking of efficiency, there's one surefire way to make sure you're the first to know when I upload more amazing content like this. And that's by drifting over and hitting that big red subscribe button and tickling that little bell icon while you're at it. And if you like what you see, let me know by liking this video too. Now let's dive right back in. There are plenty of bizarre birds in the world, but the one I'm about to show you scores extra points because it has an equally weird name, the blue-footed booby. These so-called boobies live off the western coasts of Central and South America. They're aptly named for their eye-catching bright blue feet, but it's what they do with them that's really worth checking out. It's pretty amusing to watch, but this booby isn't just stomping around like that for no good reason. In fact, boobies take great pride in their fabulous feet. During mating rituals, male birds show off their feet to prospective mates with a high stepping strut that kind of makes them look like they're trying to walk in heels for the first time. The reason why boobies have blue feet is because cardinoid pigments, which the birds get through their diet, are concentrated in their feet, making them appear blue. The higher the concentration, the more intense the color is. And there's a major benefit to having the most brilliant blue feet if you're a booby. When performing this goofy, foot-flaunting dance, males with brighter feet appear to be more popular with the ladies. Research has shown that this is because the brightness of a booby's feet also corresponds with its health. If a male is unhealthy, weak, or old, it will generally not be as good at securing food as a healthy male, which would result in a reduced concentration of cardinoids and therefore duller feet. It makes me wonder, if I start painting my feet blue, will I get more dates? There are some things in life that you don't want to mess with under any circumstances. Molten hot lava is definitely one of those things. I'm sure everyone knows by now just how much havoc an erupting volcano can wreak on its neighboring areas, but it's not until you see something as jaw-dropping as the following clip that you really start to understand just how powerful all that boiling hot goop really is. Yup, that horrifying glowing mass you see creeping in from the side of the frame is molten hot rock, and that parked up Mustang stands no chance against it. 
Of course, this time lapse has dramatically sped up the footage, but it still takes barely any time until the car has been totally gobbled up by the encroaching mass. This jaw-dropping clip filmed by Brandon Clement on May 6, 2018 gives a horrifying glimpse into the devastation of Hawaii's Leilani Estates area after an eruption of the Kilauea volcano on the Big Island. Kilauea stands a whopping 4,200 feet tall and has been erupting on a continuous basis since 1983. This particular eruption, which was one of the biggest in a while, forced 1,800 residents living near the volcano to evacuate as dozens of homes and structures were destroyed. But thankfully, no serious injuries were reported. Although the main body of this car may not have been instantly liquefied, when you consider the fact that steel melts at around 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit while lava flow is said to be around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, everything else inside the car would likely have burned up as the lava passed over it. But the whole thing is going to be crushed and encased in molten rock when all said and done anyway. I just hope the owner of this Mustang was covered by insurance. Snorkeling can be a real eye-opening experience. If you're lucky enough, there are plenty of sights to see. Schools of shimmering fish, colorful coral, and swimming strips of streaky bacon? This bizarre organism, which was encountered in the Great Barrier Reef, is known as a Spanish dancer. It's easy to see where it gets its name from as it flaps about like a deep-sea flamenco dancer showing off their brightly colored skirt. The Spanish dancer is actually a type of exotic red sea slug which is part of the soft-bodied nudibranch family. The beautiful floating mollusk spends most of its time crawling on the surface of the reef and is often spotted by divers at night at the bottom of the ocean. But if this creature feels threatened, it flaps its gills, parading its bright warning colors as a warning to predators that say, hey man, don't eat me, I don't taste so good. It may not seem like it on first glance, but the Spanish dancer is actually one of the largest sea slugs on the planet. When fully flattened, this colorful carpet can grow more than 16 inches long. As if it wasn't already unique enough, Spanish dancers are also hermaphrodites, meaning all individuals are simultaneously male and female and are equally capable of laying eggs. Like their parents, the eggs are also brightly colored and are laid in the form of a rose-shaped red ribbon in plain sight. Anyone would think this goes against the basic principles of camouflage, but they also have a high concentration of toxins to protect them from predators. While it may be totally mesmerizing to watch, the Spanish dancer definitely doesn't look like the tastiest snack to me. So I guess it's doing its job, right? What's the weirdest creature you've ever spotted with your own eyes? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've come across anything weird and wonderful while surfing the web, just get in touch at clips at beamazed.com and you might even earn yourself a shout out in a future episode. Now, where were we? Some of the most unique places on Earth are hidden underground, and I'm about to show you one of the coolest examples. Literally. The Yamal Peninsula in northwest Siberia stays covered in permafrost all year long. Although the winters here are as chilly as you might expect, the summers are comparatively warm, at least by Siberian standards. So when a huge fish processing plant was built in the village of Novi Port in the 20th century, a cold storage facility was urgently needed to make sure that fish caught in the Arctic waters would stay fresh before they were processed, packed, and exported to Western Europe. In the 1940s and 50s, a vast labyrinth of subterranean tunnels were dug into the frozen permafrost. The result? The world's biggest natural refrigerator. The tunnels run for more than a kilometer and comprise of some 200 smaller side tunnels and caves where the fish is stored at an average temperature of between negative 12 and negative 14 degrees centigrade all year round. In total, this massive storage freezer covers a whopping area of 7,000 square meters, which is even bigger than the White House in Washington, D.C. 
and it has a total capacity of 2,000 tons of fish. The tunnels were hewn out of the solid ground by a team of 15 to 20 laborers using only pickaxes and other handheld tools. So it's no surprise that it took 10 years to build. Once oil and gas was discovered in the Yamal Peninsula, Novi Port quickly adapted, and exporting oil took over from fishery as the area's main industry. But this incredible cold storage is still functional and is even in use today. Forget fish, I wonder how much ice cream you could fit in there. When you're dealing with back and neck pain, it can sometimes feel like all you need is for someone to reset your aching body to its factory settings. Well, it turns out that might just be possible. And if you're squeamish, you might want to look away now. <gasps> oh. Right. Oh. Hey, I did warn you. It may seem shocking, but that strangely satisfying crack is actually the sound of a whole world of pain going away. This is the amazing work of Houston-based chiropractor Dr. Alex Tubio, who was a total expert when it comes to this kind of procedure. After suffering with debilitating pain in her back and neck for years, the brave patient in this clip traveled from Wisconsin hoping to find some respite through Dr. Tubio's heralded emotional cracking. And boy, did she find it. Your head drop more. <gasps> Good. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> That's more and more. Good. <gasps> You can tell by the look on her face that she feels an overwhelming sense of relief after each crack. But how does it work? Chiropractic adjustment, as it's more commonly known, is a procedure which requires a trained specialist to use their hands or a small instrument to apply a controlled, sudden force to a spinal joint. When you crack your back, neck, or any other joint in your body, the capsules around the joint, which contain fluid, are stretched, allowing the fluid to put less pressure on the joint. As the pressure decreases, the fluids in the joint turn to gas, which makes a popping or cracking sound when the joint is pushed beyond its usual range of motion. This process is the same reason why you can easily crack your knuckles after pressure has built in the joint. The procedure is totally safe when performed by someone who is fully trained and licensed to deliver chiropractic care and can improve spinal motion and your body's overall physical function. Chiropractic adjustment is by no means a miracle fix, and it doesn't work for everyone. Some have even theorized that just hearing the cracking sound creates a placebo effect because we associate it with the release of pressure, even if the joint hasn't been successfully adjusted. But if you want to find out whether it works for you, it goes without saying. Do not try this at home. Animals are even more fun-loving than we sometimes give them credit for. Our pets are more than capable of entertaining themselves with their own mischief. But just check out this cheeky parrot playing peekaboo with the neighbor's cat. The star of this adorably hilarious clip is Oscar, the two-year-old Indian ringneck parrot, who lives with his owner in Christchurch, New Zealand. If you couldn't already tell just by watching this clever game of peekaboo unfolding, parrots are surprisingly intelligent birds capable of complex cognition. In fact, research has even shown that the genes that play a role in their brain development are similar to those that evolved to give humans our big brains. While he certainly has the upper hand on this one, what Oscar doesn't know is that the cat's twitching tail and intense stare could be a sign of frustration, which probably means he wants to eat the bird for lunch but can't because the glass is in the way. It may seem like a fun game from where Oscar's standing, but for the cat, this is the equivalent of your Snickers bar getting stuck in the vending machine. Ah, uh, there's nothing like a clear, sunny day to brighten your mood as you sit and take in the beauty of the world around you. But then, out of nowhere, Storms are something we associate with gloomy, rainy weather, but the truth is that they can strike at pretty much any time, even when there's not a cloud in the sky. This utterly bizarre display of nature occurred in August 2020 in a suburban neighborhood in Tampa, Florida. 
Jonathan Moore, who was about 75 feet from the strike at the time, managed to capture this sudden arc of electricity on his dash cam. It seems Moore was just as shocked as you and me as the huge fork struck the poor, solitary palm tree in a split second. He explained that the lightning was completely unexpected because the skies were sunny, and the nearest thunderstorm was eight miles away from his home at the time. The central Florida peninsula actually has the highest lightning concentration in the U.S., with peak lightning season usually happening between May and October. Meteorologists refer to the strange occurrence in this clip as a literal bolt from the blue. These super powerful bolts can travel several miles away from thunderclouds before angling down and striking the earth. Because of how far they have to travel, the bolt must be extremely intense. After all, the distance from the cloud top to the ground is sometimes as much as 10 miles. Usually, the lower parts of a cloud are negatively charged and the upper part more positively charged. Lightning usually comes from the lowest part, meaning it is negatively charged. But if too much positive charge builds up in the upper levels of a thundercloud, the atmosphere sometimes has no choice but attempt to balance it with the ground by discharging it. The resulting bolt from the blue is positively charged because it comes from the top of the cloud, meaning it is hotter, more powerful, and can travel further distances than a negative strike. Strange as it may sound, bolts from the blue are actually relatively common across the U.S. during the summer months. Well, now I know to stay away from palm trees at all times. For those of you who don't like creepy crawlies, now might be an appropriate time to go and grab a quick drink or a snack. If you decided to stick around, I hope spiders are your thing. This wriggling mass of tiny, hairy legs is a nest of cobalt blue tarantulas, and if you were wondering where their mommy is, then look no further. Isn't she pretty? These spooky spiders are just some of the exotic creatures owned by conservationist Chris Sweet. Having been carefully cared for over the course of a few months, these little hatchlings will now be looked after by their mama for another week or two. When they molt again, they'll be ready to make their own way in the world, which is when Chris will separate them into separate enclosures. When they reach adulthood, cobalt blues are medium-sized tarantulas with a leg span of around 5 inches. They're classified as a fossorial species, which means they're well adapted to digging and spend nearly all their time in burrows constructed deep underground. Thankfully, like most tarantula species, cobalt blues have adapted to killing solely for food, meaning that although their bite can be very painful, their venom isn't dangerous to humans. I don't know about you, but I still wouldn't be taking any chances around this protective mama. Who doesn't love ducks? They always look so calm and serene while bobbing along the surface of ponds waiting to be fed by excitable kids. But bread isn't the only thing these lovable birds go crazy for. Check it out for yourself. This pair of feathered animals are binging on a bowl of peas like there's no tomorrow. Yes, peas! and they still manage to look and sound totally adorable while doing it, before their owner, who goes by the at name Duckhouse on YouTube, even had time to put the bowl down. The ducks, named Pepe and Arnold, had already got their beaks into the bowl and started ferociously chomping away. In total, it takes them about 30 seconds to demolish the entire bowl until all that remains is leftover pea water. In this head-to-head -head battle for peas, only the quickest can survive. But it's hard to tell which of these ravenous duckies managed to gobble down the most greens, so I think we'll just call this one a tie. This video unexpectedly went viral in 2019 before Pepe and Arnold crossed the Rainbow Bridge to Ducky Heaven, leaving their hilarious legacy behind. 
Their binging habits might be hilarious, but peas are actually way better to give to ducks than bread. While bread offers little nutritional content and can aid the spread of disease when left lying on the ground, things like peas, corn, oats, seeds, and shreds of other random greens like lettuce offer plenty of vitamins and minerals. Ever heard the one that goes, a duck walked up to the lemonade stand and said, hey, got any peas? If you enjoyed the glimpse into real-life Call of Duty I gave you earlier, then you're in for a real treat, because we're about to dive into the exhilarating world of an Airsoft Pro. Talk about some serious skill! Let me start by saying that although this activity may look dangerous, airsoft is actually a sport that's not so different to paintball, and it's already being played by millions of people. For those who don't know, airsoft is a competitive team shooting sport in which participants eliminate opposing players by tagging each other out of play with plastic projectiles fired from replica weapons. And just like any sport, enough practice can turn an ordinary person into a total speed machine. The star of these exhilarating clips is seasoned pro Sussoft on YouTube, whose airsoft abilities are pretty unmatched. As you can see, Sussoft, who has been playing at Miami Airsoft for almost three years now, easily pulls off the kind of incredible feats of speed and skill you can only expect to see from the most expert Call of Duty player. He's got that super smooth COD slide down to a T. But unlike in video games, this real life game relies heavily on an honor system, which means players are ethically obliged to call themselves out of the game once they've been hit. What? He was dead! Why are you Although Airsoft is very similar to paintball in concept and gameplay, it might surprise you to learn that it can actually be far less painful. Airsoft may seem like the more serious activity with its realistic replica weapons and military simulation skirmishes, but the pellets used are smaller and typically weigh less than paintball ammo, at 0.2 grams compared to 3 grams. Plus, they don't expend nearly as much energy when fired. What's more, both airsoft and paintball pellets can only reach a fraction of the speed that most firearms can, so they're not really comparable to the real deal. Although being hit may sting a little, airsoft pellets are less likely to visibly mark players, and for many, it just adds to the thrill. Sussoft usually uses a custom Tokyo Marui 5.1 replica, which was built by his sponsor LA Kappa Customs, but he's a total force to be reckoned with no matter what he's holding. He tackles the course with such speed and precision that anyone who happens to get in his way doesn't stand a single chance, whether they're hiding behind walls or leaping off cars. I know who I want on my team if we ever find ourselves in a real-life zombie apocalypse. If you've ever had a go at origami before, you'll know just how difficult it is to make even the simplest creation like a swan or a flower. This ancient art form, which may have originated in Japan or China, has existed for centuries. It's super fiddly and requires a whole lot of patience and skill. But that clearly isn't a problem for Finnish origami artist Yuho Konkola who created this incredible origami samurai using just one single sheet of paper. Complete with traditional armor including a pointed kabuto helmet has been crafted with such a high level of intricacy that it's hard to believe no scissors or glue were involved in the process. Juho started off with a 37.4 inch sheet of Wenzhou rice paper and spent a couple of days intricately pre-creasing the material to prepare the sculpture for formation, using binder clips as well as folds that gradually get smaller and smaller until they become unbelievably fiddly. Yuho then gradually built the sculpture over the course of three months until it was big enough to stand on its own. 
Talk about having the patience of a saint. I can't help but imagine a gust of wind blowing in through an open window and taking the sculpture with it. Which of these amazing things impressed you the most? If you're still on the lookout for more content that'll make your jaw drop, why not check out one of the previous episodes in this series next? Don't forget to send in anything you find online to clips at bmaze.com, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.